Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today is part two of a pack with me. So last week it was packing for our split stay and how I did that. Today I'm gonna go over how and what we put in our backpacks to travel with. So Tyler will have a backpack, I will have a backpack, and Annie will also have a backpack. And each one is strategically packed so we can get through a plane ride. So this has worked for us through infancy all the way up until she's almost three in a couple weeks. So this is, these are all the tricks. So stay tuned. So here are mine and Tyler's backpacks. This uh, backpack is Petunia Pickle Bottom. I have used a, another Petunia Pickle Bottom backpack in the past. This one I just got because it was on a really, really good sale. But it turns out I really, really love this style. The top completely opens and you can see super, super deep. And then also on the back side, there is this pocket. So whenever I'm wearing it and I have my phone or something, I can actually shove it behind my back and zip it up. And it is super, super easy. Annie has her backpack right now. She's playing with it. So I'm gonna see if she's gonna let me steal it for a moment, but this is probably a good thing that she's in there playing because our backpacks are put up for the entire duration until we actually leave for the trip because we have uh, snacks in there she's not seen, we have a bunch of toys that she's not seen at all or for a while, um, so it's probably a good thing. So leading up to our trip, I and Annie will go to the Dollar Tree and I'll give her a little green basket and she will go crazy in there. like nuts like that's her store <laughs> and she will just kind of grab everything and anything all these toys and so during the day or that day I'll let her have some of her toys and then I will hide the rest and so that is what is in this bag and then there's some other toys that um, I've purchased in the back in the past that we've not used yet so I also have these as well and um, I'm gonna divvy these up um, oh here she comes and here goes the secrets <laughs> Would you like to uh, show your friends what's in your backpack? Come on. Yeah, come on, climb up here. Oh, we've added a few things in here. She's not fully packed. Um, there are a couple things that I actually keep in here. I don't let her just take them out whenever we get home from trips. Um, so, would you like to show them what's in here? Yeah, okay, go ahead. You got what? You got your bag, yeah. Oh, so we've got, oh, our, so we have the 50th anniversary castle, um, and she's got some of her characters in there. Um, we typically don't bring this with us on trips, do we? No, no, we keep these here. But um, what else is in your bag that you can show everybody that we actually do bring on our trips? Okay, what's in that? What's in there? Oh. Her blocks. So these blocks are magnetized, um, and so... Um, there's like a bunch of squares and then there are a bunch of triangles too and we can sit there and make like and a Oh in her phone she said that's just one of our old phones that she's playing with um, But these are really really cool um, and we can make like little small houses or a million different shapes and then also um, They have like these little inserts that you can um, put numbers in or let me find it um, So here's an equal sign and I know there's an addition sign in here somewhere. There we go. An addition sign in here. And we can sit on the plane and have fun kind of doing math problems, um, you know, or, you know, building stuff. So this is something that always stays in her backpack whenever we are traveling. And then what else is in here? So we have her earphones too. So she has a pair of Bluetooth earphones for flights, uh, but they don't really work as well as just simply the ones that just plug into her iPad um, and then she can listen to or watch whatever, play whatever game she wants to do. So on her iPad, she actually does carry her iPad with her. I know um, some people just would rather carry that with them, um, but she she's pretty obsessed with her backpack and we keep an eye on it as well. Um, some additional stuff that we might put in her bag would be, she also has like a little poppet thing. Oh, a little keychain. It's in the floor over there. She took it off. That will stay on here. So it's just like a little uh, fidgety thing that she can play with uh, while uh, 
we're just sitting somewhere and she doesn't have to dig through her whole bag. I will also have a little Ziploc, reusable Ziploc bag that I'll put one of each snack in so she can have, you okay? So she can have whatever she wants in, in her backpack and she can just choose as she goes. She has the autonomy to choose. This backpack is super cute as well. It's a little Petunia Pickle mini backpack and um, I guess she's used this about three trips now um, and she's done really, really good with carrying a backpack, especially with the weight on it too. She's got her iPad in there, uh, but it shouldn't get at too much heavier than what is in here. Um, she's got that little sunglass case and the little, the little cell phone, so it shouldn't be as heavy as it is. Now, when we all of her snacks and uh, a few little surprise toys. All right, so in my backpack, I will carry um, most of the essentials. Um, so we have this wet bag, and I've got a portable toilet seat. We are potty trained, but this just makes things super easy. It fits on every single toilet. Airplane toilets, um, airport toilets, restaurant toilets, our toilet, like shops, toilets, all of it. You need one of these if you have a potty training toddler or a uh, potty trained toddler. You need one of these. Um, and then I also put just some water wipes in there just in case. I also have a change of clothes in here for obvious reasons and in another reusable bag um, some additional underwears for her. And that's why I put uh, this stuff in this uh, wet bag because if we do have an accident it's something that I can put her clothes in or her wet underwear in. Um, I also carry this everywhere we go. This has a bib in it and not like a, a small bib like an infant but it's got the sleeves on there. It's got Cinderella on there and then also I have this uh, Miss Mouse Messy Eater Stain Treat um, Treater for clothes. This is also awesome if you follow me anywhere. You know I use it. Um, last time that we were at Disney World, we ate at uh, Hollywood and Fine. She had some marinara sauce all over her dress. I sprayed it. It was gone. Like, oh my gosh, so heavy. So, um, like literal magic in a bottle. It's going to get all the stains off. And then as well in this, I have some, um, oops. Okay, you might have this a little bit he too heavy. You might have it a little heavy. Okay. Your thing. Um, I also have some crayons in here, and um, oh gosh, and these are placemats that they can actually color, and they stick to the table, so if their food touches the table, it's not that big of a deal, um, so these are fantastic. We used to have some that weren't colored, um, you didn't color when she was younger, um, they just had really beautiful colors on them, and they were Mickey and Minnie. But uh, definitely carry this everywhere we go. And this will go in our sling on the stroller too. If you've watched any of my um, stroller setups, we always have this pouch in there. And then at the bottom, I will have a couple of random toys. So um, I'll go ahead and um, do that. Let's see. This is gonna be a surprise toy for her. These are um, the little Disney Jigglies, like she's obsessed with these. So I got these off the Amazon stack, Rapunzel, Tiana, some Nemo's, and like a queen. Um, so I'm gonna put these in here and I'm gonna hide them. <laughs> and then let's see what else we have. We've got these guys. These are organic, they are suckers. Um, so if she's gonna have a treat or an emergency type of anything um at least it's got good ingredients in it so we go with the yum earth they are top nine allergy friendly uh free um, and so they're organic pops no artificial dyes good ingredients so i'll put these i'll have tyler have the snack and food bag and then as well as we love these annie's homegrown like the organic um flavored fruit snacks she loves these um, so I'll put one of those in her Ziploc baggie that will be in her bag. So I'll put one of each in there. I'm not hiding them necessarily from her, but we're going to keep some um, in our back pocket just in case. Um, and then I also brought this from her snack drawer. So we use veggie straws. Um, we have these Nature's Bakery organic oatmeal bars that she loves. And then we have these organic chewy granola bars. Oh, she's crying. Let me go see what she's from. Okay. 
Um, I'll also always travel with her water bottle on us. I will go through TSA with it empty and then when we get in there, I'll fill it up just so she can have some water. And so I'll put that guy right there. Now I will um, try to show you guys what I have from um, the dollar store. Uh, like literally just small little action figures, little arts and things. Um, oh, oh, I forgot I got these. So I bought a little happy birthday banner. Just a bunch of random little toys, little artsy Crayola things. Um, they're like a felt adventure-y type of thing. We've had uh, these Jumbo stickers before. Uh, she loved those, so we're gonna throw those into Tyler's bag. And remember, the reason why I have double of these is because we're gonna be coming home too, and we're gonna need activities for that as well. So don't forget, uh, don't sell yourself all the way to your to Disney. You need something to come back as well. Did I determine which one of us is gonna be toys? I think it was gonna be, I was gonna be toys. And he's gonna be snacks. Um, and he also knows that um, we don't always just give her all the snacks as soon as we get on the plane um, because we're gonna need to get through it. Uh, a great time to start giving them snacks is right when you're starting to do lift off because their ears could possibly pop. You know how it is flying. So um, make sure that uh, you give them something a little chewy. I like a granola bar, that would be a great option. Um, if you are open to giving them gum, Annie doesn't eat gum yet, um, that would also be a good option for them as well. And then here is my other toys. Another thing that I'll do with these toys, I'm just, some of these we will not open, obviously. Um, but some of these I'll put in my fanny pack for when we're standing in lines at Disney World. And that way when she's getting a little restless or just getting tired of standing in line, I'll pull something new out of my fanny pack. And Oh, you can have those stickers if you want. You want those? Yeah. I'll pull something out of my fanny pack and she's like, holy moly, new toy. Another great thing about the Dollar Tree is they have a ton of glow sticks. Um, so you can get these literally for $1.25. My favorite is to bring these. These are the 25 piece and you can connect them and make bracelets or necklaces. These are my favorite when we're waiting um, on Fantasmic to start. And it's just super fun. The last time we were there, there was like this little girl behind us and um, Amy was sharing with her as well and just kind of made her uh, evening. So bring these along with you. Let's see what else we have in here. We have, oh yeah, 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 these are really cool too. So these are little wands, a little princess wand. Um, you'll break it, break the stick, and then the little star goes on top. They've got like a flower. I think they've got like a dinosaur one. And then this, she's, I've done this twice. So she has the Mickey one. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, she has the one of the Mickey ones. She has the Minnie Mouse one, and then this is the Goofy one. So this is probably gonna be one of those things that I surprise her on my fanny pack because these are fantastic. Like cars um, do really, really well in line because there's so many activities on the side and rails and they can really, really play um, good with these. This is a fun thing from the Dollar Tree that was in this gray bag, um, but we don't use this on the plane necessarily, but we can use this uh, when we're in the pool. And uh, this little, it's literally meant for water, but it's a little dive and fish, uh, Dive and Catch game, and this is probably like the third one I bought. She loves, 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 loves these. So uh, we can definitely bring these down to the pool with us um, and play. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, little stick um, necklaces as well. Glow in the Dark stuff is a huge win, and this is again from the Dollar Tree. Um, a dark ride at night when you're in the parks. It's just super fun. Like. It's just an easy, cheap way to add a little bit of fun. But also, if you're on a flight that's super, super early in the morning and it's dark, or um, when you're flying at night, it is super fun to break those open. So we will put these in um, in the backpack. You all think I'm crazy with all these toys, don't you? <laughs> but honestly, like they're, most of these are from the Dollar Tree. So, and from previous, a lot of them are from previous trips. We, we did go through the dollar store uh, to prepare for this trip, just kind of like a refresh. But a lot of these are still not, have been used, um, and it's not breaking the bank rather than just going to Target or, uh, well, they do have the dollar section, but like Walmart. It is cheaper, and, um, and they really love it. And then these little balls. It's taken me, like, everything within me to hide these balls from her. 
I don't also know what is so cool about these balls. Like, why are kids obsessed with getting just eggs and balls and then just finding like little squishies in them? Somebody tell me in the comments, like what's so appealing to this? It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Whatever. So I've been hiding those from her as well. So that about wraps it up with what we put in our backpacks when we're traveling with a toddler or a little or an infant. I um, highly recommend just one person is able to concentrate on, oh my goodness, she, she's probably asking for a toy. Oh yeah, she's a little hangry. I've got the snacks. And it's not just one person just kind of digging and grabbing. Um, in addition, she has her iPad in her in her backpack with her one of every snack in her backpack so she can choose and whenever you get there you got a lot of snacks uh, to choose from as well and so it's kind of cheaper um, for groceries too so um, I guess I will see you next time um, I guess the video on the screen or at Disney World bye